Hello and good day everyone. So before we proceed in design of reinforced concrete beam, uh, let me have this discussion for you uh, about uh, how to design a beam which is laterally unsupported. Because so far, uh, we only deal with a beam that is laterally supported. So in this video, I will show you an example on how to solve problem uh, involving beams that are laterally unsupported. Okay? So let's start. So I have here. Uh, let's skip this. Uh, let's go with this beam laterally unsupported. Okay, so when the span with no lateral support exceed 20 times the width of member, or we use this mathematical equation that L over B is greater than to 20. So if your uh, the span divided by the width of your beam uh, is greater than 20, then you can say that your beam is laterally unsupported. So, if it is laterally unsupported, uh, we need to adjust the allowable bending stress. So, how to adjust this? We use this formula. So, F is just equal to Fp uh, multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus L divided by 100 multiplied by B. Okay, this F is the allowable bending stress for beam that is laterally unsupported. And Fp is the allowable bending stress when the beam is laterally supported. Okay, remember, huh? uh, FB is allowable bending stress if the beam is laterally supported and F is the la uh, the beam is laterally unsupported. L is just the unsupported span of the beam. Then B is the width of the beam. Okay, to show you, okay, no, to understand the concept, uh, the principle, I will discuss or I will present to you an example showing how to solve this type of uh, problem. Okay, so I have here a uh, problem. Uh, beam having a span length of 4.5 meter has two concentrated loads of 13.35 kilonewton at the third points of span. The beam is laterally unsupported. Okay, the problem, uh, the problem uh, stated that it is laterally unsupported, but some of the problem will not show or not, will not present if it is not laterally unsupported. So you will use the formula I presented like, uh, a while ago. So L over B is just uh, greater than to 20. Okay? So design of appropriate size of beam to carry these loads if the allowable bending stress is 9.7 MPa for a beam laterally unsupported and allowable sharing stress of 8.3 MPa. So assume the weight of the beam equal to 6. 30 kilonewton per cubic meter. So the problem uh, give the allowable bending stress if the beam is laterally supported, also the uh, shearing stress, then plus the weight of the beam. Okay, so let's solve this problem to show you how to solve problem involving uh, beams that are laterally unsupported. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, uh, this is the illustration of the, uh, the diagram for the, the problem. No? So you have a uh, concentrated load located at the third point. So at one third, so you have 13.35 uh, both sides. So this is the uh, the span. You have 1.5, 1.5, then 1.5. So uh, it's stated in the problem that is laterally supported, but we will uh, verify it using the formula I uh, presented a while ago. Then, okay, so first, uh, let's calculate this reaction here, these two reaction, but uh, by simply looking, or you can solve it manually, but by simply looking, there are two forces uh, going up, then there are two forces going down. So in order to satisfy equilibrium, uh, it must be equal. So this part here uh, is equal uh, to this uh, concentrated load. And this part, and this reaction here is also equal to this concentrated load. Then, after that, uh, we will draw the uh, shear and moment diagram. So, shear and moment diagram is presented here. So, you have 13.35 for the maximum shear. Then, concentrated load at this point here. So, going down, no loads. So, constant after at this point. Uh, we have this concentrated load located at this point here, the 13.35. Then you have this reaction here. Then we can calculate that the maximum sharing stress is 13.35. A uh, sharing force, rather. 
Okay? Then, by using uh, area method, uh, this is a uh, rectangular. So, uh, 0 degree, 0 slope. Then, if we calculate the area, then it will turn into 1 degree uh, slope. So, just multiply 1.5 times the 13.35. So, you have 20.025 kilonewton meter. Okay? So, okay, we're ready now. So, we have this shear force, then we have this bending moment. Okay, now let's proceed to uh, calculating. Gun. So, based on the uh, based on the shear moment diagram, uh, we can uh, we find that the maximum bending moment is 20.025 kN. Okay, this is the load alone. Remember that the problem uh, give the weight of the beam. Okay? Remember that the weight of a beam. So then recall in your structural loads that uh, the dead loads are one of the source of dead loads is the weight of the material. So we will consider now uh, later on the weight of the beam. But this time, uh, we will design the dimension of our rectangular beam for the load alone. So recall that we reduce the formula for uh, maximum bending stress for rectangular. So we have 6m over bd squared. Okay, then by simple manipulation or substitution, we can find that this equation here, BD squared, is just equal to 12.39 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, so next is we need to design. Okay, so we need to design. So let's try B is just equal to 200. So if B is equal to 200, we can calculate D equals to 248.863 mm. So, let's say that uh, 250. Okay? But, we only consider, let's go back, uh, we only consider the load alone. But remember that the beam, our beam, possess a weight. So, we need to include this weight in our design. So, from 250, let's adjust the dimension into 300. Let's say uh, we need uh, the depth of our our beam is to be 300 in order to account the weight of the beam. Okay. Uh, first thing to do is to calculate first uh, the weight or the uh, uniformly distributed load caused by this weight. So from 6.30 kN per cubic meter multiplied by our cross section, which is this is the uh, width, then this 0.30 is from here. Uh, D equals to 300. So, we can calculate that the unit weight for or the concentrated load, a uniformly concentrated load caused by the weight of the beam is 0 0.378 kilonewton per meter. Okay. Remember that uh, this is uh, uh, uniformly distributed. So, therefore, the maximum bending moment for this is uh, WL squared over 8. Okay. Recall, last time we discussed, uh, we already discussed uh, this how we derive this formula okay so by simple substitution we can calculate that the maximum bending moment is 0.9568 kilonewton for the weight alone okay this is for the weight lang ha this is for the weight okay so let's include this uh, bending moment into our uh, first moment uh, caused by the load so therefore the total uh, uh, the total bending moment is 20.98 kilonewton. Okay? Then, uh, let's check if it is later, uh, for lateral supports. Again, we can check if it is laterally unsupported or supported using this formula. If L over B is greater than 20, then we can say that the uh, our beam is laterally unsupported. But the problem on, uh, stated uh, the problem. Okay? So, but uh, by checking, we can say that it's 20, 22.5, so it's greater than 20. Therefore, it is laterally supported. If it is laterally supported, we need to calculate its allowable stress using the formula of Fp. Uh, F is just equal to Fp multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus uh, 400, uh, L over 100 multiplied by B. So by simple uh, substitution, 9.7 is the allowable bending stress if the beam is laterally supported. Then 450 is the span 
uh, 4,500 rather, then 200 is the width of our beam. Okay, so uh, the allowable bending stress for unsupported beam is 7.52. Therefore, we need to check this. Or we need to check our bend, uh, bending stress if it is safe. Uh, okay, so actual stress. So recall, again, that this is the reduced formula for our rectangular. So by simple substitution, we can calculate that the maximum bending stress is 6.99 MPA. Therefore, it is smaller to 7.52 MPA, which is the allowable bending stress for a beam that is laterally unsupported. Therefore, it is safe to use. Safe to use our dimension. So, we calculate our dimension here. So, therefore, we can conclude that our dimension we set is safe to use. But, we need to check uh, further using the shear stress. So the total sharing force for this, uh, for our beam is we have this uh, WL over two. This is from again from the weight, from the weight of our beam. So if WL squared over eight is the maximum bending moment, uh, we have maximum shear force WL over two. So by simple manipulation, substitute lang, then you can calculate that the total bending oh no total shear force is 14.20 kilonewton okay so let's check so we have 3v over 2a which is a is the area it is the reduced formula again for rectangular beam for shear, shear stress then 0.355 mpa then it is smaller uh, to the allowable sharing stress which is 0.83 mpa Okay, so therefore it is safe to use. Therefore, you can uh, we can say that uh, we can use 200 by 300 mm uh, beam. So I have uh, here so an assignment for you. Uh, I have here. So what will happen if uh, we use 200 by 250 mm beam? So again, uh, as we solved uh, a while ago, uh, we can we calculate that we, uh, we can also use 250, but we did not check if it is safe to use. So as assignment for you, uh, what will happen if instead of 300 depth, we use 250? Okay, so I need your opinion for he, uh, for this. Uh, submit your answer sa next uh, next topic for this. Okay, so next time, see you next time. I think that's that's all. Okay, that's all. So see you and uh, design of reinforced concrete beam.